Good afternoon, Peter Gertz, I'm a psychiatrist. Being in the present moment sounds very simple, and it is, but it's definitely not easy. So what I'm not talking about is thinking. So being in the moment is a time where we're not trying to think, we're not ruminating, we're not thinking about the past, the future, but being in a natural state, and I'm not saying thinking is bad, you know, you have to pay your bills and thinking is important. So when I say being in the moment, I'm not talking about thinking in the moment, just being. What made me think about this is I've been checking how much time it takes me to get ready in the mornings, like showering, shaving, etc. And it varies quite a bit by about 10 minutes. And it seems to be that it varies depending on how much I let my mind wander. So it's quite a bit of time, interestingly, that we spend, if we let our mind wander, just extra time that we spend showering, shaving, etc. without really doing anything except letting our mind wander and thinking. And like I mentioned, depression has to do with thinking about the past, at least in general or frequently. Anxiety has to do with thinking about the future. So if we can just be in that sweet spot between the past and the future, be in the present, which is simple but not easy, that can make life a whole lot more enjoyable. Things that can help us to be in the present moment are feeling our body, like whatever part of your body you wanna focus on, how does your hand feel, how does the area around your heart feel, focusing on breathing, just letting, you, letting yourself feel the breathing process. Another interesting concept I heard about recently is if you wait for the next thought. So just if you're attentive and just see what is the next thought going to be, that creates a very interesting situation because what I found when I did that is I wasn't really thinking. It was an unusual a situation I was not used to, waiting for the next thought. So that can help you actually to be in the present moment. And a lot of people do things that can help them be in the present moment. And some things force us to be in the present moment. Like, you know, if you're riding a motorcycle fast, for instance, if you're rock climbing, that definitely creates situations where either you're in the present moment or you can die. So I think that may be one reason why a lot of people enjoy those things and seek them out because it forces them to be in the present moment and not to worry about whatever debt they have, whatever happened in the past, what might happen in the future. Another interesting thing that crossed my mind is people, at least in the past, have enjoyed smoking cigarettes quite a bit. Now, less people smoke. But I'm wondering if a lot of that or part of that issue was not just the nicotine, but the focus on the breathing. So I'm wondering if part of the attraction to cigarettes was just taking some time, focusing on breathing, inhaling, exhaling while you're smoking cigarettes. What can help, in my opinion, is to gradually get used to, so to speak, get into the habit of letting thoughts go. If you don't need to have them, if they're not important to you at that moment, you can let them go. Like, don't take that invitation of the thought to continue thinking that. And some people may be afraid of stopping thinking. They may think, oh my God, am I going to die or disintegrate if I stop thinking? It's not something essentially that we're taught in school or by our parents or anywhere growing up, at least in the past. So stopping thinking as a concept might be scary to some people, but it's definitely worth pursuing 
letting go of thinking at least a lot of the time. Again, thinking is not bad. We need thinking for certain things. But in my opinion, a lot of our thinking is not necessarily productive. And animals are very wise in that respect. Like dogs, they have a lot of wisdom. They're, they seem to always be in the moment. And being in the moment can help with various things like sleep. You're not going to be thinking about tomorrow. You can just let it go. Be in the moment. Let yourself sleep. Other things that can help us get into the habit of being in the moment are meditation, yoga, tai chi, and things that we can do without thinking, like playing music sometimes can be, people may call it muscle memory, playing music without necessarily trying in a cognitive way to play music. That can help people be in the moment. And people often don't think about certain movements like while you're driving. That can be an automatic thing, so to speak, automatic, without trying to think about what you're actually, what the steps are that you're taking to drive. And that also could be a meditative experience if you just drive and let go of thinking. And again, thinking, we need to think, but in my opinion, there needs to be more balance toward not thinking and, if at all possible, being in the moment. Thank you.